Hi, this is Peter. I just want to take a minute to show you a couple of things that I was playing with. There are two threads going on the forum right now. One is about Instamorph, which is a hand moldable, moldable thermoplastic. And the other is about how to make an MFT into a heavy duty workbench or more versatile. If you notice, I'm standing in my kitchen. This is my MFT. If you look right here, I have a dog hole that has got a lot of stains around it, and that's because it's been lubricated with release agent. And the reason for that was by forming Instamorph into the hole, forcing it. Uh, I know it looks dopey this way, but I don't care about this side. What I want to do is put it on the back side, and now, uh, as long as this does not protrude out past the end of the table, I can have an attachment point by simply heating a bolt and threading it into this to which I can add stops, hold down blocks, clamps, etc. So that's one idea. The other idea I had was and, and had been thinking about and working on was how to make a, uh, an attachment point to the side profile of the MFT or even a possibility of a sliding one. And what we've got here is just Instamorph was forced into the profiles. We used, oops, sorry, we used silicone, uh, I mean, I beg your pardon, parchment paper to keep it from sticking. It will stick to metals. And then you melt it and force it and do it in layers. And now all of a sudden you've got a matching profile that doesn't need any bolts. You know, if we want to move it, we can move it that way. And of course, you could always mill this surface, mill this surface to be 90 degrees to each other. But anyway, this is just food for thought. Enjoy, take a run with it, and we'll see you on the forum.